The best high-flying superstars the world over all compete in search of the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. The road to the title begins tonight on 205 Live. Corey Graves, Michael Cole, and the commentary answer to Aria Davari, Byron Saxton. <laughs> Enough of the preliminaries. Here we go. Singles match on. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents. Strides to the center of the ring as the bell sounds, and we're ready to get underway. What a stop! Good grief! Beautiful technique. Oh, oh man! Oh boy! You've got to believe this one's over. What a stop! Good grief! One thing's for certain, Corey, Tony Nese has a certain air about him. It's just his attitude. Walks around like he owns the place. Got him some slack, Cole. There's not really much Nice could do about it. He's from New York. There's no question that all New Yorkers have that attitude about him. His shoulders are down, and only in one count. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. On the topic of Tony Nese being a New Yorker, and he is the latest in a long line of Long Islanders to find success in WWE. Of course, most notably, there's Mick Foley. Well, I guess we can't forget about Zack Ryder, who might be the only guy who takes more gym selfies than the premier athlete. It's a good thing Foley never takes gym selfies, so I guess it all evens out. What's this? Driver! And a day with Tommy with a kick out. What a kick out. Folks, all you got to do is take one look at Tony Nese to realize he's a perfectionist. I mean, just look at his perfectly slick back hair and amazing physique. The man simply won't settle for anything less than perfect. Two, three. Uh oh, no, don't do this. <laughs> oh, man. Byron mentioned Tony Nese's perfect hair and amazing physique. And when it comes to that physique, Corey, there's no doubt Nice has a second residence at his local gym. Oh, yeah, Nice's abs have abs. Cole, and I assure you, you don't get that sort of physique by accident. You also don't get it by eating carbs. I wonder how long it's been since the Long Island native even looked at a bagel. Ooh! I can tell you, nobody's happy about it. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Who could forget this? Here is your winner, the premier athlete, Tony Nese. The Rev had no choice here but to end this one via count out.
And it doesn't sound like the fans are too thrilled with the decision here. We have a great matchup coming up next. Taking on some tough competition. Oh, I cannot wait. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. What a stomp! Good grief! Drop kick with precision! Oh, man! And the... Time impact from way up high. Harsh impact. Drop down. He still has plenty of fight left in him. And again, unbelievable. You don't see that every day. Oh, the old European uppercut. He got body on body there, but that's about it. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Showing off some of his speed there. Smart. And TJP with a quick kick out. Too soon. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look at this. Yeah, he's not big in stature, but he's got a huge amount of energy. Wow. Power drop kick! Nailed it. Oof! Kick finds it. He's going for the pin. Police don't quickly get him to shoulder up. Wow! Knee. He's got the shoulders down. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. He isn't going to go away that easy. What a stomp. Good grief. Kalisto reverses that one. Very nice. All the way up and around the world. Kalisto is putting on a performance here tonight. This is going to be big, one way or another. Jumping, leaping attack. He's in trouble. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha! Lucha. Del Sol. He's back in control here. 
the pinfall and the victory. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. This was another great moment. Here is your winner, Kalisto. And that's the win to start off. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Oh, I cannot wait. Shortly after his 205 Live debut, Cedric Alexander caught the eye of Alicia Fox, but he also caught the eye of a jealous Noam Dar, who made it his mission to impress Alicia and embarrass Cedric. Yeah, Noam Dar was infatuated with, uh, let me see if I can say it right, Alicia Fox, and was determined to beat Cedric to show his dominance. However, when Cedric saw Alicia reciprocating Dar's advances, he dumped that crazy Fox. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. You two brought up the Noam Dar, Alicia Fox, Cedric Alexander, Love Triangle before him. Got everything wrong. Fox is a successful woman who only associates with winners. So she dumped Cedric, and guess what? He got himself injured. Same thing after she dumped Dar. Well, as crazy as the love story got, Dar and Cedric also had some amazing brawls during that time period, including a brutal I Quit match where Cedric made the Scottish Supernova audibly submit. Oh, what impact! What a stomp! Good grief! Them. He's not looking like himself here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. He just has eight of it down. And an easy kick out for Noam Dar. Gonna take a whole lot more. Oh, chin breaking uppercut. Here's a cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Oh, wow. Cedric Alexander really seems to thrive when it comes to tournaments. In 2016, he had a classic match against Kota Ibushi and the crew going for the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Cedric Alexander proving he's no pushover with that kick out. Cedric winning his way to WrestleMania in 2018 via the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. I'd argue that he had the toughest road to WrestleMania. I'm not going to argue with you, Cole. I mean, he took on the Cruiserweight Classic runner-up, and then the guy that won the Cruiserweight Classic, and then Roderick Strong, and then Mustafa Ali, and then he finally won the Cruiserweight Championship. He's taking some offense. Be expected though. It's not like he's in there with a the slouch, guys. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Vicious strike. This might be it. Oh, my. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Takes him down in a major way. 
two. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's in trouble. Better stay right where he is. Going for broke. Cedric Alexander soaring through the sky That's with a close line. What impact. There it is. I think that caught everybody in this arena off guard. Brain Buster. This just might be enough for him to take the victory. We've got to cover. Ref found a two count. Still too fresh. If you're just tuning in, I want to welcome everyone to the broadcast of WWE. Coming to you from the capital of the Golden State, Sacramento. Just breaking down the opponent. Might only be heart keeping Noam Dar in this match. He may very well be running on instinct right now. Cover here. And a kick out. Not even close on that one. Yeah, this early, no chance. Oh boy, he is rolling. Change something fast, guys. Enemy hits this to the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Oh man, I'll tell you, it didn't look any running in security. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. He could pin his opponent right here. And the fight must go on. And we continue. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so... He thinks he has it. One. Two. And he kicks out. And the match continues. Drop him. Oh, great height. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep. Get rid of the self-doubt and continue on toward victory. Him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Looking for the exclamation point. Beast Buster. Can he finish him off here? For the pin and the win. Yes. Three. This singles contest has a victor. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Check him out here. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Cedric Alexander. 
kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.